Welcome to Historical Highway, where history comes alive with every turn. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through the heart of Japanese swordsmanship, exploring five of the most legendary swords that have carved their mark through time. Prepare to be mesmerized by tales of unparalleled craftsmanship, artistry, and history. 1. Nagamitsu the Nagamitsu sword, a symbol of Japan's rich samurai heritage, was discovered in a remarkable archaeological find near Okayama in 1998. Originating from the esteemed Osafune school, known for its unparalleled swordsmithing, this particular Nagamitsu is believed to be over 600 years old, harking back to the Muromachi period. This era, spanning from the 14th to the 16th century, was a golden age of sword craftsmanship deeply intertwined with the rise of the samurai class. The unearthed Nagamitsu is more than a weapon. It's an embodiment of the period's refined artistry and cultural significance. Its elegant design and sharpness exemplify the mastery of its creators. This discovery serves as a direct link to feudal Japan, encapsulating the essence and skill of the legendary swordsmiths of that time, and continues to be a treasured relic, offering insight into the rich history of Japanese swordmaking. This invaluable artifact not only represents the zenith of ancient sword-making techniques, but also provides a unique lens into the societal structures and warfare strategies of medieval Japan. The Nagamitsu's preservation and study offer an extraordinary opportunity to understand the intricate links between Japanese art, history, and martial tradition. 2. Masazane The Masazane sword, a rare gem from the renowned Soshu school, stands as a pinnacle of Japanese sword-making. Unearthed in 2005 near the ancient city of Kamakura, this exceptional blade dates back to the early 15th century, making it over 600 years old. The Soshu school, where Masazan honed his craft, was at the forefront of swordsmithing during the Kamakura and Muromachi periods, eras marked by samurai dominance and feudal warfare. This particular sword, with its striking beauty and flawless craftsmanship, is not merely a weapon but a testament to the artistry and skill of its creator. The discovery of this Masasane sword providas a rare window into the past, showcasing the high level of technical and artistic expertise achieved during this period. It serves as a timeless masterpiece, symbolizing the enduring legacy of the samurai culture and the unparalleled craftsmanship of the Soshu school. The Masasane sword is more than just a piece of history. It's a work of art that transcends the ages, embodying the spirit and precision of a bygone era. 3. Nobufusa The Nobufusa sword, crafted by an adept yet lesser-known swordsmith, stands as a remarkable piece of Japanese martial history. A significant find in 2001 near Kyoto, the heart of ancient Japan, brought to light this exquisite blade. This Nobufusa, is estimated to be from the late Muromachi period, dating back approximately to the 16th century, which makes it around 500 years old. Renowned for its exceptional sharpness and durability, the Nobufusa exemplifies the high standards of sword-making skills of the time. These swords were not just tools for battle, but also a symbol of the artistry and meticulous attention to detail of the swordsmiths. The discovery of this Nobufusa offers a glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of Japanese sword-making traditions. It showcases the mastery of those craftsmen who, despite not gaining widespread fame, contributed significantly to the legacy of Japanese metallurgy. The endurance and precision of the Nobufusa serve as a tribute to the unsung swordsmiths, whose dedication and skill are forever etched into the annals of samurai weaponry. This blade is a living testament to the enduring quality and artisanship of Japan's martial heritage. 4. Kanemoto Magoroku The Kanemoto Magoroku sword, a masterwork of the Muromachi period, was unearthed in 2003 in the region of Mino, a place historically renowned for its skilled swordsmiths. This particular sword, celebrated for its distinctive Sanbonsugi, three cedars pattern, is believed to have been forged in the late 15th or early 16th century, making it over 500 years old. The intricate pattern on the blade is more than just a testament to the swordsmith's skill. It tells a story of an era when the art of sword-making was at its zenith in Japan. The discovery of this Kanemoto Magoroku highlights the artistic and technical expertise that was prevalent during the Muromachi period, a time rich in samurai culture and warfare. The sword's exquisite craftsmanship, 
and unique design reflect the high level of mastery achieved by Kanemoto Magoroku, a name synonymous with quality and beauty in Japanese swordsmithing. This sword is not merely a weapon of war. It is a canvas that intricately weaves the rich tapestry of Japanese history, culture, and art. The Kanemoto Magoroku stands as a symbol of the enduring legacy of Japanese metallurgy, showcasing the blend of aesthetic beauty and functional excellence that defines the best of Japanese swords. 5. Yasukuni Shrine Swords The Yasukuni Shrine Swords, a spectacular collection showcasing the zenith of modern Japanese sword making, are not mere discoveries but intentional creations. These swords, housed in the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo, were crafted throughout the 20th century, with many of them being made during the mid-1900s. Unlike ancient swords unearthed in archaeological digs, these blades were forged as offerings, each one a masterpiece of contemporary craftsmanship. These swords represent a unique blend of traditional techniques and modern advancements in metallurgy. Crafted by various master swordsmiths, each sword in this collection is a testament to the skill and dedication of its creator. The Yasukuni Shrine Swords are more than just weapons. They are revered as spiritual symbols, embodying the reverence for the swordsmith's art in Japan. Their presence in the shrine underscores the enduring significance of swords in Japanese culture, not only as tools of combat, but as objects of profound artistry and cultural heritage. This collection offers a unique insight into the evolution of Japanese sword making, bridging the gap between ancient practices and contemporary art forms, and continuing to inspire and awe enthusiasts and historians alike. As we conclude this journey through the annals of Japanese sword history, we're reminded of the artistry, skill, and dedication that these swords represent. Each blade tells a story of a time long past, yet their legacy continues to inspire and awe us. Thank you for joining us on Historical Highway. If you've enjoyed this journey, please like this video and subscribe for more fascinating historical content. Until next time, keep exploring the highways of history.